morning everybody and happy wednesday uh <clears throat> i'm in my sarah young again and my joyce meyer bible and um jeremiah 31 love jeremiah so awesome and it's, he's speaking to israel but you know that when we go to the bible and the lord gives us scriptures they're they're also for us right to take you know you need to process it through the spirit you know not in your mind okay so <clears throat> You know, we all have issues. We're all going through stuff. And sometimes we feel like we fail so miserably. But you know what God says? <laughs> your your thoughts and my thoughts are not the same. And so I'm going to start reading this to you. I love you regardless of how well you are performing. <laughs> sometimes you feel uneasy, wondering if you're doing enough to be worthy of my love. No matter how exemplary your behavior, the answer to that question will always be no. In other words, you know, I'll never, I'm never judging you by your behavior. Your performance and my love are totally different issues, which you need to sort out. I love you with an everlasting love that flows out from eternity without limits or conditions. That's, um, you know, because we can, we don't, as humans, know that love so much. And so it's hard for us to comprehend. I have clothed you in my righteousness, and this is an eternal transaction. Nothing and no one can reverse it. Therefore, your accomplish, accomplishment as a Christian has no bearing on my love for you. Even your ability to assess how well you are doing on a given day is flawed. That's so true. You know, I just, you know, sometimes I just want to beat myself up, you know. But you can't do it. You know, whenever you feel that way, I have to, I, I have uh, little scriptures and little thoughts, you know, on my desk at work that are, it just get me back into, you know, what the Lord is saying about me. Your limited human perspective and the condition of your body with its mercurial variations distort your evaluations. We're, we're in this body that is, you know, uh, have headaches and tummy aches and this ache and that ache and, you know, sickness and disease and stuff that we're battling all the time, you know, but we're living in this earthly body. <clears throat> bring your performance anxiety to me and receive its place in my unfailing love. If we just think about all the things that we're not doing and, and how we fall short, we're sort of making our own self an idol. We're not seeing ourselves as Jesus sees us. We need to, you know, whenever we start thinking negative thoughts about ourselves, you know, you need to be reminded that, you know, let me see how... Think about how Jesus loves you, how he sees you as this perfect and righteous person. Try to stay conscious of my loving presence with you and all that you do, and I will direct your steps. So if we <clears throat> look to him and see him and how he, how he loves us and how he's created us and how he doesn't judge us, you know, that's when we can move forward. You know, if we get stuck in what we've done wrong, I'm telling you, I work in a law office and, you know, I'm a like a secretary, I'm paralegal, but act like a secretary and boy, do I make a lot of mistakes, you know. <laughs> and it's really difficult, you know, because you, when you're going as fast as you're going and, you know, stuff is just coming at you and everybody's saying, do this and do that and whatever, you know, and I make mistakes and I just want to go and cry, you know. <laughs> But then I have all these things around my desk, all these thoughts that just tells tells me how much Jesus loves me. And every and I got this. He always tells me, I got this, you know, hang in there. We got this. So um, then, of course, in Jeremiah 31, of course, he's talking to Israel. But uh, in Jeremiah 30, 27, because I'm opening up my Bible to 31, so I'm seeing 30. It says, and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Isn't that comforting? It's comforting to me. And so I'm going to end this with a little uh, sneak peek of this coming Saturday at our Breaking Bread because for some reason we're going to do a time warp and we're going to go back in time. <laughs> I don't know why the Holy Spirit is putting that in my heart. But when I opened Jeremiah 31 today, it says the Lord, this is 31.3, the Lord appeared to me uh, from the past saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you and continue, continued my faithfulness to you. 
I don't want to get into a big discussion here, but, you know, I've been talking to other people lately about being once saved, always saved. It says, I have drawn you and continue my faithfulness to you. He's never going to leave you. Once you have him in your heart, once you have him in your heart by faith, he, he's not ever going to leave you. So I'm going to leave you with that. But come Saturday because um, <laughs> we're going to dibble dabble in a little bit of past, you know. We're going to go back and um, it's kind of good. Sometimes you got to go back to go forward. And so um, we're in Leviticus. Leviticus, right? Yeah. No, we're in Numbers. Sorry. We're in Numbers 1 through 15. I'm tired of Leviticus and all the laws and stuff. But guess what? You know, <laughs> here we are in Numbers and uh, and it's going back in time again. So, but that's okay. God has a purpose. The Holy Spirit's going to be there. And um, we're going to be there for you when you come. Bring all your, bring all, bring your heart with you, you know. Because uh, you may be the one that we're going to pray over and that needs a deliverance and will get a deliverance. Or you may be the one that uh, God wants you to pray for someone else. You may be the salvation. I say that lightly. I mean, you know, in a good way for somebody that's hurting, you know. So come and be blessed or be a blessing, okay? So I'll see you later. Bye.